Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canine Educator. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing. By the way, this is the first unboxing I've ever done on my channel. I just thought it would be interesting to do an unboxing of the Dog Chair IQ Mini. Um, mainly because this is a model I've never used before. Um, I hear really great things about this IQ Mini. So I wanted to do an unboxing to give you guys um, what this collar has to offer, all the different settings on it, and explain to you what they mean and what they don't mean. So I'm excited to do this with you guys. Oh, and if you haven't yet, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget, we're giving away no bad dog merch. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comments below within three hours of this video being posted. All right, so first impression is, is um, Dogtra just came out with this new boxing um, within the last year or so. It's the yellow and black, which is nice. Um, definitely a smaller box comparable to all of the other boxes. Makes sense, because it's uh, one of their smaller models, if not the smallest. So I'm gonna open up the little tab on the bottom here that is uh, sealed. There. And then um, open her up. So we got here this uh, attached to charger. It's a, a little card to, to show you how to charge this model because this model is charged differently, which I'm not familiar with, but that's why we're doing this fun unboxing. Um, owner's manual, pretty typical for uh, Dogtra's remote collars. So this is a very long booklet, uh, up to 31 pages of do's and don'ts and stuff like that. But that's kind of boring because I'm going to walk you through it now anyway. So here's the uh, charger. So the good thing about this is I call this the breakaway charger, which basically means that it breaks away if it's pulled on. Um, I'm sure that there's other reasons for this charger to do this, but I like it because if it gets snagged on the counter, I put all of my uh, collars on my, my counter in my, in my house, and so if it gets snagged on something, which happens all the time, um, it doesn't rip this out and ruin your charger. So that's what I call the breakaway charger. And then um, talking about the charger, you have one unit that will... I would assume go into, yep, this, uh, the, the actual handheld device that you hold, which would be the remote setting, uh, or the remote, sorry, and that would charge into there, and then this will charge into there. I'm going to go over that in a minute. This is a little different for me, so we're going to just go piece by piece as far as equipment goes. So there's the charger. Um, here's the actual collar, which is very small. Um, actually, that's surprisingly small. I dig that um, because we do have a lot of a lot of dogs that we work with with the remote um, that have extremely small necks, extremely small bodies, and um, really when we're doing remote collar training, we want want the remote to, or the collar to just be a part of our everyday process. We don't want it to be this big bulky thing um, that your dog is uncomfortable with. So this is really really nice. And as you guys can see, probably on the front of the box, you have like a little. A little dog on the front so uh, and then a little min pin on the back it's probably this one of the same dogs but uh, pretty cool nonetheless so on the back of the box which I'm gonna sh I'm gonna read off to you guys really quick would be the 400 yard range a seven pound dog as small as a seven pound dog it's 1.3 ounces petite receiver very small plastic contacts so it says plastic contacts here which would be different from their normal contact points being metal um, it's got a nick and consistent. Uh, it's got a nick and consistent stimulation and a vibrating pager, which is nice. And you can use two dogs on this. So the features are as red. So that's so that's pretty cool. It's got a lot of different things. One thing I didn't know about this collar is it has uh, plastic points and it's two dogs. I would assume because this dog is this unit is so small, it wouldn't have been a two dog unit, and it actually is. So that's very. Uh, very important that's pretty cool so the actual remote is also very small um, it's smaller than any other remote I've I've had before and let's see it's got the antenna here so this is much like an old-school uh, cell antenna that just goes up and gives reception to your actual collar it has a nick a continuous and a pager setting which uh, I'll explain those in, in a minute. 
and then it's got a dial. So unlike a lot of the other dog tree units, it doesn't have a digital dial. It has a dial, which I'll show you guys in a second, a little bit more close up. Like this thing so, is tiny. I mean, it's it's smaller than my. I mean, you could smaller than my cell phone. Very small. Um, I'm sure. So good thing about the dog trees is they always have the serial numbers right in the back. Um, it's really important for us because we have a bunch of units all over the place. And so having the numbers match up with the actual collar. Um, so you'll notice that um, they both match up, obviously. So this is good for reference to make sure you have the right collar. I really like that. Uh, and again, going back to the dial function here, it's really easy. I think the biggest thing about dog chair, one of the biggest things about dog chair that sets themselves far from any other e-collar that I've used is the capability of just using your dial or using your numbers really quickly and being able to access them really quickly in a pinch um, if you need it in emergency that's really important so just the way that you hold it and your thumb being right here uh, I really really like that and then of course then of course you got your lanyard which is really nice that's standard on all dog trick collars um, I use this sometimes, but I, I always suggest to people that when they're training, just not having it around your neck, but when you're transport, um, when you're getting in your car and you're going from A to B, it's really, really nice to have your lanyard. Um, let's see if we have anything else in the box. Nothing else in the box, completely empty. So I'm going to go through the functionalities and what they mean and show you guys how to turn this on and off and all that fun stuff. So. So first thing I want to do before we get into the functionality is just going over charger, charging ports. Um, so you have your mail adapter here, your mail piece here, and there's a little flap here that you just undo, and then you'll stick your, your charger right into the unit, and then you'll plug it in. Now this side I'm not too familiar with, so you have to bear with me. This is the fun of the unboxing part, I guess. I'm like doing, doing all sorts of stuff here. So um, it would help to look at the instructions, but I just learned by doing this sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and boom we're in baby so so yeah that's the other good thing about reading instructions is it tells you right here what to do so on this little charging port here and that's that's one thing dog does not skimp out on is is detail fine detail it says right here in text right on the charging point led side first well i didn't do that first but i'm going to do it first now so we're going to go up with the led side and then boom, clip it in, and it just clips in like that. Now, now when you plug your unit in, typically it'll just go red to let you know that it's charging and it does need a charge. You can use this right out of the rip, I would assume. I'm gonna turn it on a minute to see if it has any juice, but normally um, you just charge it for a little bit and then the lights will turn green to let you know that it's fully charged on, on most dog tree units. So I'm gonna unplug these and take these cool charging ports off, and then I'm gonna turn this on, um, which again, uh, not familiar with oh so I just figured this out so there's a little sliding thing here and if you slide it on one it means that there's one that's the first dog and then you simply click it over for the second dog which is really nice because um, when you get into the bigger units they give you a, a button for each dog which gets for like somebody like myself who drinks way too much coffee and is all over the place um, being able to just slide it over to dog two is actually a really really nice feature so let's figure out how to turn this on okay I'm hitting a button um, so it's on we're ready to roll so the other great thing about the dog tree technology is being able to sync them by their little red sinking dots I'm sure that there's another term for it but red sinking dots sounds good so as you can see you guys can see this light beeping on so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and there's a little red dot on here and there's a little red dot on here and you sync them together and then this will this will go green to let you know that it's successfully synced. I always like to use the collar first before I put it on the dog that's something really big because sometimes if you don't do it quick enough or if you do it if you do it too fast or if you don't hold it there long enough it may turn on green really quick and then shut off because you didn't hold it there long enough so I always will test the collar to make sure that it's actually on so then what I'm going to do is I'm just, I always like to test the uh, the numbers on the on the on the uh, remote just to see where they're at So very, 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 very low uh, numbers here. So I'm at a, uh, what it looks to be, what it looks to be like a 45 
Um, so I know on the Dogtra 280C, for an example, we usually condition dogs on levels between three and eight out of 130 levels. This collar has 100 levels, so it's got a little bit less levels than some of the other units, but it is a smaller unit. And I can tell you that I normally will feel a, I can tell you that I, I can normally feel, uh, like on a Dogtra 280C, I normally feel it around a 20. And this is very similar, like right now I'm doing a, um, like right there is a like 40, or no, I'm sorry, 25-ish, between 20 and 40. Um, Here. So that and I always like to just put it right on my wrist because that's where we're the most sensitive. You can't put it on, well, you can, but putting it on this side of your wrist and putting it on your hand, is, it doesn't really work that well. Put it on a really sensitive part of your body, like your neck or your wrist. The wrist is just easier to get to. So anyway, um, that's on. Now to turn it off, I'm assuming you just hold this, button down here on the remote and nope that doesn't work so we're going to look at the instructions for that but I know to turn this off all you have to do is sync them again and then that'll go red and it's not off because I didn't hold it so watch what I do here so I sync it here turns red hold it hit the button again it's off so remote I don't know how to maybe you can't shut it off I'm not sure let's look so I just read in the handy dandy uh, little IQ Mini instructions that the actual remote does not turn off. It activates as soon as you hit a button, which that is pretty nice so you don't forget. Uh, you can't really mess that up. And then to turn this on, I just showed you. So that's, that's cool. Um, and then again, every dog just has the LED lights to clearly tell you whether it's on or it's off. So I'll show you guys a cool function on this too, is when you do turn this back on, it'll go green. And then if you actually just sit there, it'll blink green. So when it's on a dog and you want to know if it's on, you just watch the dog for a second and it'll blink every maybe 15 seconds. So that's really nice. There's also going to be indicator lights on most dog tree units. I'm not sure about this unit, but uh, the, the dog tree unit should should yeah it does if you're not familiar with dog training i have many many lessons on the e-collars on how to introduce it properly i can link it above um and and all you have to do for the nick is simply just tap the nick so here's nick continuous and pager so those are the three options so when you hit nick you'll notice that the green light will come on and then the continuous is exactly how it sounds. So all you're gonna do is hold this button down, and then as soon as you release your finger, the continuous will actually shut off. So that's the nick and the continuous, and then the pager um, is exactly how it sounds. So when you hit the pager button, all it does is it just sends off a little vibrating tone to the dog. Now, um, much like cooking and chefs, this is the pot and the pan. Now you can give this to many different cooks, many different chefs, and they can do whatever they want with it. Some, some people do it right, some people do it wrong. It really, it really, that's not why I'm here. I'm here today to just show you the functionalities of these collars. But the pager is something that you can do depending on how you train your dog to get your dog's attention. You could train them page twice, boom, boom, the dog turns left. Page once, boom, the dog turns right. Hold down pager, etc. I use the pager on some of the other bigger models for a lot of behavior modification cases. When you don't want to physically correct the dog because it could get them to redirect on you, you simply just use the pager to snap them out of the bad behavior that you don't want them in. So that's essentially, but again, you guys can apply these different things however you want. I got many videos on that. So overall, um, IQ Mini is, is, is actually a really cool model. I'm, I'm surprised on how small it is and, and the quality of the dog chair. Like when you feel this, this receiver and this actual collar that goes on a dog, you can just tell the quality that's put into here. It's not hollowed out. It's got a bunch of, bunch of different things in here to make sure that it's receiving to the dog properly. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with, with the size and the capabilities of this little IQ Mini. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching me unbox the IQ Mini made by Dogtra. If you guys are interested in some of the Dogtra stuff, I'll just link their website down below. You can check out all their gear. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't yet, like this video. Subscribe to my channel for many different uh, uh, videos that we're uploading here on the channel with dogs. I...
talk to you next time. Peace.